What's up guys and welcome to the channel. So tonight we're gonna be working on some traction bars. Uh, we got my little brother coming over. He's gonna bring the old trusty reliable welding machine. That's my dad's. And uh, we've already kind of pre-built most of it. So we're kind of coming in on just the end of it. But uh, we'll get those hopefully by the end of the night, have them fully installed. We'll have to see about that. I don't know. I kind of got a little bit, of, a little bit of a lot of work to go on them, but not much really, actually. Uh, maybe while he's here, we can do a walk around on his truck and kind of the plans he's got for his. And then uh, I have my truck in the shop, so maybe we can do a walk around on it with the lights in here. But my truck is, or my shop is a disaster. I mean, my shop is just a disaster. There's, there's, I got. I got in-laws moving and it just it is what it is but that's the important stuff easily accessible just a lot of stuff in here but it'll work so uh, i'll hit you guys back whenever my little brother gets here probably be a whole lot of time lapse through this because there's gonna be a lot of welding grinding painting but figured it'd be good content and we'll see where it goes look at this Look at what we found. What's good? Look at this boy. Straight gooning. Rich kid probs. You ready to get these bars welded up or what? Yeah. First, I gotta clean everything up though. Food, purses, when and ate. Wife got everything in the truck. Gotta get it out. The boy forgot the grinder. Got the whole unit. Forgot a grinder. Fatal. So we're gonna dump the machine off over, you can't see, over in this area. And then we're gonna run back to my parents' house. That kid, oh my gosh. Run back to my parents' house, grab the grinder, and then finally, We'll get some work done on these traction bars. But. duty can't get out because my buddy back to my house round two time to get started did you hear that come here Oh, dude, someone's playing the pipes right now. Dude, <laughs> freaking trippy. <laughs> hey, quick question. Did you grab the welding hood? Bro, you're dialed today. No. That boy, all over it. Oh, you're on top of and around it, aren't you today? Mm -hmm. Dialed. You're gonna knock that trailer off that piece of sketchy wood you put it on. Hey, see you in a bit, dude. Guess I could take this prime opportunity of him forgetting stuff to give you a sick walk around of the new rig. It's the welding caddy. Thing 
things top of the line. Got our cutting torch right here. I don't even know what brand this welder is. 22, that's all I know. Ooh, listen to it roar. That thing barks. It's, oh, Airco. I don't even think they make those anymore. And I guess I could give you all a walk around in the truck. Uh, this is my 2015 GMC Sierra 1500. Uh, I got a few things done to it. It's not very modded out. Uh, I I know Rough Country sells a kit uh, on on their website for like a single sing, a single single row light bar. So instead of having two of them, you can have one of them, and it brackets up real easy real simple uh little deal they got created there but i'm not simple and i'm really hard so what i did is uh i've actually found these light bars on facebook marketplace and uh it was a lady she was uh real in the deep anyways blah 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 i picked these up for like nothing so i was like well i know one will fit there so i took the grill apart which is super intensive you got to take the bumpers off it, you, I mean, you really got to get into this to get these off. So I got into it and I was like, man, I can make both of those fit. So uh, there's some custom brackets and some stuff like that. Maybe one day when I go to, to wrap all the chrome, as I plan on wrapping all the chrome, the same color as the brown. But I want to get the brown. I want to get my whole truck repainted because there's dings and scratches, man. I, it was... It was a country truck before I got it. But uh, anyways, I'm going to try to wrap all the chrome, which is really just this and the bumper. So the grill and the bumper, they need to be. Uh, I, I, I thought about painting them, but this is plastic. And I, I don't want to sand this, this chrome off and then paint it brown and then hope it stays on the plastic. Uh, I'm not real sure about that. So, I mean, if you guys got any better ideas, leave it down in the comments. Uh, and also, I'd like to leave it as redoable as possible in case I ever decide to, like, trade this truck in or something. I want to take it back down to, to bone stock because they don't pay you for modified trucks. I mean, they pay you for the bone stock. So, you're losing money when it comes to all the aftermarket stuff you put on there. So... You know, I'd like to wrap it just because when it chips, it's easy to redo and it's not that cost, like it's not that expensive. Concho looking at himself. That boy, he's crazy. I got some headlights that I'm waiting to order. Uh, I'm going to get some aftermarket ones pretty close to stock, I think. Uh, I may do some aftermarket ones. I just really like the way the, the stock headlights look. I just, I want them like brown but i also want to wait on the headlights until i get this and the bumper wrapped because i don't know if it's gonna look way too dumb all brown so uh i don't know we may see we may we may do that we may not it's in the future uh i got wheels and tires on it uh it's just got a level on it uh it's got, like I say, it's got dings and scratches, but this is probably the worst one. Uh, we were varmint hunting one time, and man, we got into a, we got into my place to varmint hunt, and it just, once we got in there, it just started pouring freaking rain. So when we were headed out, man, it it got sloppy on us, and I ended up sliding into a tree. Uh, not really a whole lot's done. Like I say, I got it leveled. I got the light bars in the grill. Uh, I got 22 by 12 hostile. Uh, man, I want to say I can't remember the the like the style. Uh, man, I'll have to look that up. Uh, see if I can remember to say that. These are what came with the wheels. I would like to put some spikes on there, some black ones. And the truck's super super dirty right now, but. Uh, Got the hostile 22 by 12s. I had some fuel Mavericks on here, uh, 20 by 12s. They just weren't cutting it for me. And then I went with the Canadi Mud Hogs. Really good tire, really good wear. 
really good pricing. They're they're really reasonably priced for how good they perform in water. You know, water on the road, they're not slick. Only downside is they're very loud on the road. So, you know, but that's part of the gig when you go with, you know, a mud tire. So, uh, other than wheels and tires, like I said, I got the level, got the light bars. Uh, I got a, it's a metal militia kit exhaust. Uh, it's a Gibson muffler, but metal militia sells the kit. Uh, so anyways, it's a true bolt on no welding or anything involved. You literally right up here behind your regulator or uh, not your regulator, your, uh, Oh, basically your third cat. I can't remember what it's called, but I got some loose wires I need to get out right there. Clean that up. That's bad. Anyways, it's right about here. It literally just unbolts your resonator. That's what I was looking for. It unbolts right there. Stock exhaust comes right out. Pull it out of the rubber hangers. Stick this one right in the rubber hangers. Ready to go. Uh, I guess I can give you a little exhaust clip of that right quick. Let me see here. So, my phone. It's not terrible. Uh, it's got a real good roar to it. It's not real loud. doesn't drone in the cab. It's a real good exhaust. But, uh, it's a, it's a little pricey. I ended up getting a real good deal on that with a buddy. Uh, I do have a BMW hitch in here. Now, yes, it is a half ton. But I have a camper, or my parents have a camper that I move every so often. I don't pull it long distances and stuff like that, but I move around their place. They got a three-acre three acre little place, and I just move it around there every now and then. But that's a little better view of the the carnage of the tree uh i debadged the sierra stickers but i left the z71 uh i wanna oh this is the other chrome that i was wanting to uh uh, pl uh wrap the same color as the truck but uh and this is the shop uh i it's hard to sh show you right now because like i say i've got my uh fiance's parents stuff all in here and i got my trash and i just it's it needs to be cleaned real bad but man with work and everything i haven't had a chance to get in here and really get to it lately so not excuse just reasons i guess <laughs> but so that's a walk around and everything uh there's not really big plans i want to try to keep this as simple as possible and simple and clean but uh that's pretty much it. I'll, I'll kind of give you... We're doing like a real custom job on these uh, <clears throat> uh, traction bars. Uh, I'm real big on like, you know, I'm real big on like do-it-yourself. Uh, it's always cheaper if you do it yourself. You know, you can buy a lot of different brands of traction bars, real good brands, and, you know, they'll work real good, but... You know, it's kind of an aesthetic thing. It's really not like I'm pushing a whole lot of horsepower, so I really need them kind of thing. It's just kind of like I want some traction bars for looks because I'm a goober, and uh, I like the flashy look. I mean, I like I like to stand out, and so, but I like to do things on a budget, and I like to do things myself, and so this could turn out trash. They could look terrible, and I end up having to take them off, but it is what it is, and it's kind of like a fun little project, so... uh I've got these. I, these are actually at my house when I bought the house. Uh, they're little just... I, I don't know what the guy was going to use them for, per se. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up some of these welds. And I'm going to fill in some of these holes. Grind them smooth and everything. And then I'm going to mount this. These are going to be the front brackets. So I'll mount up like this on the front. I'll bolt my traction bar through here. I have to widen that hole out a little bit and add a hole over here, but I'm going to widen the hole out and then uh, pretty much 
gonna do repeat the process on the passenger side and then i made these custom little brackets for underneath my uh uh underneath the the bolts holding my axle to my leaf springs uh i made some custom little just kind of like a half moon little bracket uh i'm gonna clean it up a little bit paint them black uh I may have to notch them out a little bit to get them to fit flat up on there. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it looks. We'll see if it turns out good. If not, I got some more metal I can hopefully rig it up. I'll run out and grab one of the traction bars. I made it out of Schedule 80 2-inch pipe. And then I got some hoist dillies and just cut them in half and welded them in there. I'm on a stock truck running like stock power. Like uh, you can look up YouTube's on or videos on YouTube all day long of like what your axle looks like even when you're slamming like just hitting the brakes, not even like gassing the rods out of it, just hitting the brakes. You can see how much you know that uh, everybody I guess calls it a pumpkin, but your rear differential, you know, it sits kind of like this to meet that angle of the back of your transmission. Well, when you hit the brakes, you know it'll pull it down like that. And pull it down when you gas on it opposite effect it'll kick it up so on high horsepower trucks you got to worry like that's a problem for wrapping your axle you know if you're throwing a lot of power on it you're going to twist your drive line and send that axle just crank it up and that's a lot of stress on your you know, leaf springs and stuff like that in my case is i'm not going to put a supercharger i'm not going to be doing anything crazy like that i'm not gonna even going to I mean, if I tune the truck, it's going to be by HP tuners and it's going to be like an ECM tune to where it's clean. No, none of the edge, none of the bulldog. I'm not a, I had that stuff on my last truck and it, it, dude, it messed up my ECM and ended up blowing a cylinder in my truck. They tracked it all the way back to that. It was kind of self-inflicted. Not, I'm not, not bashing on edge or CT. I mean, not on edge monitors or bully dog monitors they're good i mean they don't really do what i'm looking for but they're they're good tuners i mean if you're looking for a mild quick easy plug and play tune those are good tuners but i'm looking for something that i don't have to worry about i can plug the ecm in and i know it's good to go and it's gonna last me so uh it's not gonna put even at that point it won't push enough horsepower to wrap these axles it's just a half ton to five eight or it's a five three v eight so, but really what I'm doing it for is looks, like I said, and mostly, you know, kind of hopefully elongate the live, live, the lifehood of my ball or my U-joints. Uh, so my little brother made it back. Hopefully he's got everything we need and we're going to get started on this project. We're going to do the bolt system for the traction bars. This would be the front mounting. The... Uh, they're a little wide for the hardware that I bought. Track supply is already closed, so we can't go by any anymore. So what we come up with is we drill the hole on this side, drill the hole on this side. So what we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bolt, take this bolt, tack this nut on this side of the bracket. That leaves a perfect gap, surprisingly, for this piece right here to fit in so that'll actually tighten it down it'll be perfect and then you got you got double-sided strength what we had to do though is widen out the hole on the one side and create a hole on the other side and we just used a an all-size bit I, i'm a, a unit bit everybody's got different things they call these but uh we made a drilled a little pre-hole with just a regular size bit and then ran this in there until the nut i mean the bolt fit through so now what we're gonna get going i'm gonna have my little brother jump on cutting out the last two uh rear brackets we got two we got one cleaned up and fresh we got this one that needs to be cleaned up and then we need to cut two more of them and then after that I think we're gonna go ahead and weld them on. After we weld them on, we'll use a piece of cardboard, hit them with some fresh paint, keep them from rusting and looking terrible under there, and then we'll bolt them up. Uh, I'm gonna throw y'all on some time lapse while I get 
the other one of these cut out or drilled out I mean and then hopefully I get through and can get some time lapse of the young thug over here cutting out those rear brackets so Anyways, I don't know a whole lot about metals, but uh, I know they're grade A, and uh, I think they're galvanized. The tricky part about galvanized is that it's kind of hard to weld on, but, but usually what you can do is take and like grind a little bit of it off, like a little bit of the surface, because galvanized is just on the outer, it's just an outer coating grind a little bit of that off and it usually makes it a little easier to weld so I'm gonna grind off each bolt or two of them at least because I'm welding two bolts so we'll go ahead and get that going those welded in there uh, I'm, I may hit the bottoms of them with some paint right quick while Rody is working well Rody's on his way back and working on those uh, bottom brackets for back here and uh, just just to keep it from rusting in between my truck and or my frame and the the mount but uh other than that, I'm pretty much at a standstill until he can get here. And I think he just pulled up, so perfect.
All right, so we had a little change in mounting bracket idea. We already came up with a pretty good idea. I don't see why it wouldn't work. And it'll be a lot easier and a lot less work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, punch a hole here, bolt them up through this hole and repeat the process on that side. So I'm gonna set you guys up on some time lapse of me drilling this hole. I don't know, it's a pretty tricky spot we're underneath. I'm liable just to skip to the end of the finished product just for video purposes, but uh, I got a buddy with a Duramax that we're going to redo this and we're going to do it the right way. He's going to actually buy a kit. So, I mean, I don't really want to show you guys a whole lot of how to do it like this because it's not really the proper way to do it. Really, there's a bracket that goes underneath these four bolts. That's got two little mounting brackets for us for a bar you mount it there and then you mount it here but i'll probably just uh skip to it being done and this this clown ever get off his phone Roddy just knocked the trailer off the piece of wood we were talking about that was super sketchy go figure all right so a little update we got him mounted in the back We've got the brackets ready to be hit up in the front. We've got some places grounded off. we got the ground wire disconnected on the truck. Ready to run some beads on it. So, just a little update. Uh, once we get it welded, we're going to paint all that up. Paint the frame, paint where we did all that. Just keep from rusting and make it look better. But, anyways, quick little update. May get ready to run some time lapse on the welding. Not sure yet, but... We'll see what happens. So I'll probably, so I'll probably end this video here. Uh, I'll throw the clip in of it outside tomorrow in the daytime. I'll throw it in somewhere. So, uh, anyways, hey man, I appreciate you guys stopping in and watching this. This is the first video on the channel. Uh, there's gonna be duck hunts. There's gonna be varmint hunts. There's gonna be fishing. There's gonna be. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cover all bases. Just take you guys along for the vlog. Uh, kind of a little adventure into my life not that it's super important but you know we do a lot of truck stuff we do a lot of adventure stuff so uh tomorrow we're gonna be duck hunting maybe i don't know it's super late i may, I may have to call in the duck hunt but hopefully tomorrow we're gonna go duck hunting i'll try to video some of that for you guys uh, not all of it because i don't really want to show all of it i don't know how people feel about all that but uh yeah anyways i'll get this out get it in the sunlight tomorrow and show you guys a show you guys a video of that a picture of that whatever but uh hey man i appreciate you guys stopping in uh hit the like button hit the subscribe button it super helps catch you guys in the next one